After a number of buildings have gone up in flames across Albuquerque, firefighters today explained how they're working to protect the community. AFR says most of the fires have been caused by people trying to stay warm this winter, but it's putting businesses and homes at risk. News 13's Jessica Baron reports. In a matter of minutes, a campfire can spread to a building to dry brush and weeds, tents, or create a life-threatening situation for the people around the area. An increase in outside fires around the Albuquerque Metro has emergency personnel putting new safety measures in place. Fire Rescue says they are collaborating with the police department and Albuquerque Community Safety. While the fire may have been lit simply uh, to warm individuals outdoors or to help cook their food, many of these fires are lit in areas that are dangerous to the individ in individuals or the surrounding structures. AFR says they have responded to more than 2,100 calls since the beginning of the year. AFR says most of those calls have been along the central corridor in the southeast area of town. On Sunday, fire rescue responded to a fire at the wash tub laundromat, which left the building at a total loss. That fire is under investigation, and it's believed it was started by people camping outside. So we are working hand in hand with our investigators who are on duty and anybody who can help provide those credible resources so we can hopefully identify those suspects and uh, prosecute. AFR says in order to help prevent these types of incidents, they've added a truck dedicated to responding to smaller outside fires in some of the busiest districts. Fire Rescue also has a directive to extinguish every outside fire and connect people trying to stay warm with ACS. I hope this is a model that will continue every year from now. Um, because it comes down to public safety. Jessica Barron, Karakui News 13. AFR says that they will continue to monitor the number of fires next fall to see if they need the dedicated patrol again next year.